This is a guy for Nightmare Dungeons and Nightmare Sickles, how to get him, how to do everything. And I'm not sure if you need Nightmare like World Tier or not, but if you do need Nightmare World Tier, you can do it by completing the entire campaign and then changing it to World Tier 2 and then going right there to go to the Capstone Dungeon. Don't do it till at least level 50 or else you'll just get stuck on the final boss. Do that and then you have World Tier 3. Okay. Then the other thing is there'll be a quest. Once you complete the main story, that'll be under here, Priority Quest. So you go to the map and there's this tab over here. And it'll be from that guy that you talked to at the very beginning of the game who was with you for the whole story. And you'll talk to him, and it's a very short quest, and it'll unlock this. The Tree of Whispers. So once you have that, that's the first step to getting into Nightmare Dungeons and getting your Nightmare Sigil. So it's a little complicated here. It's a pain in the ass, actually, to be honest. It takes a few hours. So you need to get 10 Grim Favors every cycle for this. So what you do is once you have that unlocked, you'll notice all these icons on the map. And the simplest ones are just do the dungeons that give five grim favors. But the whole thing, they all expire after a period of time. I think an hour and a half for per cycle. So you can actually get through all of those and then need, like not I mean, still have to wait for the next cycles. So then you start knocking out the smaller ones too. Uh, but the main thing is you get 10. So you do like two dungeons and then go back and turn it in. And it'll give you a cash for like ring, like um, legendary rings or legendary boots or whatever you pick. And then you probably won't get it your first time. So you'll have to go get 10 more. And the other options are you can do these ones that give one favor. There's also some that give uh, three favor, which are usually, you know, kill enemies till you get like 100 of a resource. By the way, whatever combination of things you do, you do those and come back with another 10 Grim Favors and turn them in again and again and again. Now, in my case, I had to do that five times. Now, I don't know if it's set in stone or if it was just really bad luck or really good luck. But either way, you keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And eventually, one of the caches will have a consumable in it called a Nightmare Sigil, Sigil, whatever, Sigil, I mean. Okay. Then you'll have your Nightmare Sigil. Once you have your first one, you don't want to mess this up. So once you use one of these, it will turn a normal dungeon into a Nightmare Dungeon, and then you can go do it. Be careful, though, because once you do that, you better go do it right now, because if you leave game and come back in, it will basically delete it and you'll also go do more tree of whispers so your first ones are the most important but once you've done a one or two of these you generally on average get one and a half to two nightmare sigils for every nightmare dungeon that you do so once you get going then you got a bunch of backed up and you never have to deal with the stupid tree of whispers ever again which is like a godsend because that was like the worst part of this okay now for the nightmare sigil so one of the, each one of these has a tier you know so near the top is tier two this one's tier one this one's tier six one four six Five. I'm, I'm gonna pop a six I guess because I'm gonna do one but I'll, I'm not gonna do it right now uh, but so you go on the map once you pop one and you can see it on the map it'll be the dungeon will have this weird icon on it and then you'll know to go there and that'll be the dungeon that you're gonna do and you want to do it right away or else you'll be throwing your sigil away okay and then the other thing is after that it's just gonna be a normal dungeon but with some modifiers so if I go to this one now if I go to do it I do 10% more poison damage, but the enemies will always have the poison enchanted affix, affix or whatever. And monsters deal an additional 50% of the physical damage dealt with cold. Those, those will all change every single time based on the sigil. And you can see that uh, on the sigil, but you can't really see what they do. It just has like the TLDR version, like the title only of these, like battle hardened. Uh, but anyway, so that'll happen. Now, as for the tier, the higher the tier goes, the higher the level of the enemy. So, for example, I was level 54. Or maybe it was 55. I think it's 55. And I crafted and used a level 19 in the sigil. And the enemies were level 72 when I was level 55. Now, obviously, I wasn't able to do it with my current build and setup. But when you're level 100, um, that will make them, you know, be insanely strong. Uh, actually, I, I think that the tier is just going to be um, a, so a set level. So I think if I used a tier 19 when I'm level 72, I think they're just level 72. So, like, they can only go down to your level. But whatever tier it is, is what level they're going to be. So, like, the highest tier, I think, I saw it on a website. I think it was, like, a hundred level 150-something. So, we cap at level 100. But the sigils will cap at level 150 or 170 or something like that. So, you have to be insanely geared to be able to do that at that point. It'll be actually insane. But, so, that's how that works. So, make sure you don't use a sigil too far above or you'll just be throwing it away. Now, as for crafting and stuff, there's the occultist at Kilvishad. Go to the occultist. Once you've done five Nightmare Dungeons, or maybe it was from doing a high enough tier one. I did a tier five dungeon as my fifth one by coincidence, so I don't know which one it was. Just do them and just, you know, try to do higher ones or do whatever. Uh, but after doing enough or doing a high enough tier one, whichever one, uh, then suddenly these tabs will get unlocked. There will be a quest in here in your priority quests, and it, you do it, and then just suddenly it's unlocked. Okay, cool. Now you can salvage the sigils, and you can craft them. So you can salvage sigils by going here and then, you know breaking one down 
and depending on what tier it is it will determine wh how much or I don't, I, don't, I don't know if the tier actually matters come to think of it for how much dust you get no it doesn't you just get two no matter what so uh yeah you can do that in order to get sigil powder you can also find sigil powder other ways i don't even know how but i had a ton of it before i even got to this point i think chests and stuff just randomly have sigil powder and i'm you're doing things so you can take the sigil powder and you can craft nightmare sigils and you can go so tier three worlds can only do these ones once you have tier four unlocked from the level 70 capstone dungeon which by the way the level 70 capstone dungeon is right here don't do it till you're at least level 70 or else it's gonna suck to do it once you have that you can also do the ancestral ones, but you'll need world tier four in order to do them, obviously. Now, the higher it goes, the more sigil powder it costs. And to craft a tier 91 to 100 sigil costs 450 sigil powder. Insane. And 50,000 gold, which is like nothing. Um, so those are the ones I think that are like level 150 monsters or something insane like that. So that's how you go through there, craft them. That's how you salvage them, stuff like that. Uh, and then the reason you want to do all this, if you're still watching all this, there's still more to this. So... The reason that you want to do this is glyphs. So, if you go to your Paragon, starting at level 50, you know, you have your board, you have all the stuff you're doing. Uh, these glyphs that you put in the glyph sockets that you drag in from up, from right here and put them up there, you can level these up. You can see right here at the top, it says level 4, Enchanter level 4. Um, what happens is you can't see the XP for it on this screen, which is kind of weird that there's no XP on here. But when you finish a Nightmare Dungeon, this weird little plant looking thing i don't know how to call it uh will pop up out of the ground and then you interact with it and it will depending on how high tier the dungeon was it will let you it'll give you a different amount of xp and then you can pick what glyph you want to level up with that xp you're going to pick the glyph that you really want and you're going to go to these nightmare dungeons you're going to do as high a tier one as you can and you're going to use that xp to level up your glyphs and in my case like i have this one because it makes me do increased non-physical damage which is just i just do more damage as a sorceress with that so i love leveling up this one because it's just making me do more and more and more damage every single time that i level up now at level 15 they'll uh increase their radius size so right now this thing where uh for every five intelligence purchased within range i get more damage when you see in red the range that will increase by one once this hits level 15 so that's another reason to level up it just makes you more powerful guys you, you want to do that and just Get whatever your favorite glyphs are, get them leveled up, and just, you know, farm the hell out of stats and get more stats. So that is why you want to do it. That's, like, the biggest part of why you want to do it. And they're also not bad XP. I mean, you might as well for, like, once you hit level 55, 60, uh, at least somewhere in there, maybe at least, you know, at least level 50, though, um, because you'll need that for Nightmare. But once you get to that range, you'll want to do a little, you know, detour from your leveling, and you'll want to go and just pop the um nightmare sigils just use one go to a nightmare sigil dungeon use one go to a nightmare sigil dungeon just keep doing that for a while and uh get your glyphs leveled up some and stuff i uh, might as well it's not going to slow you down a ton you'll get you leveled up and stuff and then you can come back when you're higher level and keep doing it to finish leveling the glyphs and stuff so it's just one way to go about it but that's definitely something you could do that's how you could do it other than that you just want the strongest build you can so you can farm as fast as possible and then you just want to go out there and farm those nightmare dungeons as fast as you can to farm the nightmare sigils well, that's it, guys. That's pretty much everything I could think to tell you. If I forgot anything, just leave a comment. I'll try to remember to look at it for the first day or two after posting this and maybe reply to something. But after that, I always just forget to ever look at comments again, just so you know. But anyway, uh, hopefully I helped you out, guys. Now you know how to unlock Nightmare Dungeons, how to do Nightmare Dungeons, how to get Nightmare Sigils, uh, sigils I mean, and how to craft and, de you know, salvage and do all this stuff, level up your glyphs and all this in Diablo 4.